Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Brit Indians. I'm Joshua. So today we have uh, Raj here, who is doing, currently doing his data science in the UK. So we are going to ask uh, some questions about data science and also about University of Essex from where Raj is. So he will uh, guide you through that. So hi Raj, uh, can you introduce yourself? Thank you Joshua for having me in your channel. My name is Rajesh, basically people call me Raj. And I also run a YouTube channel and uh, in order to help the people how, how they can come and study in the UK or because I'm in the currently in the UK. And I'm studying applied data science from the University of Essex. It's a like master's program, one year of the course. And I came here in last Jan 2020 to intake and yeah my course is about to end and in case like anyone is struggling with the data science of the course or any having that any kind of the doubts they can reach me out with my on my insta so i can help with the student to guide you thank you thank you rajesh for that and uh, i mean i was asking this question to everyone like why data science in the uk why did you choose uk for data science See, the uh, main reason of uh, choosing the UK is because uh, UK is the only country, I believe, like who, which offers one year, one year of the master's. And after, like, even if you do choose the one year of the master, they finish your course within six or seven months. So, which is, which I have observed recently because I came here recently, like Jan 22. So, like, I have observed, like, they finished their course in six, seven months, even if it is the one year of the master's course. And if you talk about the, uh, like, the weather condition, it's much, much similar to the Indian weather the conditions because they also go and get the many of the seasons right so it's almost similar culture and people are really nice in the uk so that was the my my main priorities choosing the uk rather than the other countries actually also like if i add my one point like i didn't apply for the any other country so uk was one of the my priority and i applied only for the uk that's really nice and uh, uh, can you also tell me like why did you choose uh, essex uh, university out of other universities in the UK? Uh, in order to answer this question, like I didn't choose this university only, like I have applied in the other universities as well, like Eston University and uh, King's, uh, King's College or like, uh, uh, I've, I'm forgetting one university name, like I applied for three or four universities. So like I got uh, approval for one uh, Essex University and another university as well. And also I have applied for the Coventry University. I got the approval and everything, but the fees was really high. And uh, I was stuck with the ILS test as well with that one. So like this is the best option for me to go for the Jan intake. Otherwise I have to shift for again for the September intake. So that was the main priority, like to go with the Essex University only. Okay, <clears throat> so how is the uh, Essex University overall for students? Like, if you uh, want to know my, how do you say? If you want to know my opinion, how the Essex University it's really nice. Like, the campus is really big, really big. Like, you get the opportunity of the many things. Like, the campus is so big, and the opportunities for the like, if you want to go for the lecture hall, it's really big and nice. And if you want to see the library, it's really nice. And <clears throat> I have like spoken to my some of my friends who are studying in the London side universities, and they said like, their campus is just the building and they don't have anything apart from that. So like if you consider uh, the county side universities and the uh, London side universities, so I would suggest like if you want to feel the, actually the universities and then you should uh, prefer the county side university rather than the London side. Yeah, uh, as a person for who studied outside of London, I would uh, agree with that because my university also has a very good campus. So it's nice to be in a the university which has a good campus you know rather than just a building inside london right uh, so uh, how are the part-time jobs in uh cold system right Essex yeah, yeah. Actually, this uh, Essex University has the three campuses. One is the Colchester, which is the most famous. And second is the Southern Campus. And third is the Loughton, I believe. So uh, the Colchester one is most popular. And uh, if you talk about the part-time jobs, uh, like the thing is like, it's not impossible to get the jobs here, but yeah, because it's a small uh, county and uh, like Essex is a big one. But if you talk about especially Colchester, uh, the jobs are really uh, less. You like it will be having difficulty. You will be having difficulty to find the job. But anyhow, like if you struggle for one month or two months, then you will be able to find the jobs. Like it's not uh, we cannot say like there is no jobs 
but we cannot say that like there are a lot of jobs i mean you are able to manage and you are able to find the job it's not uh, we cannot say like there are no jobs available because so, i also struggled for two months mm-hmm. almost uh, basically i cannot say struggle because when i came here uh, on my first semester like it was like uh, six to seven modules which i have to cover and if i was struggling for the job then i won't be able to cover my module so i what i made the decision rather than uh, finding the part time jobs just switch to the uh, modules and study like focus on the uh, studies rather than finding the job so i cannot say like i struggle for the job because uh, on for, for the march uh, for jan to march we were having the first semester and i didn't apply for any jobs so after once uh, like uh, our semester finished like after march i applied for the job and i i got the job Mm-hmm. Nice. So, what, what what kind of part time jobs can you get? Like, what, maybe some places which you can say names. See, uh, nowadays, sorry, nowadays yeah. most of the people are doing the care home jobs. Everyone mm-hmm. knows that. So, if you talk about the care home jobs, uh, care home jobs agencies are available which provide you the care home jobs very easily. Mm-hmm. If you apply with them, like TBS and all the process, they will go through with them, and like within one or two weeks, they will uh, give you the shifts, uh, available shifts, and you can join. Uh, according to your uh, preferred time and uh, if you talk about the other jobs like kitchen assistant catering jobs catering jobs are available in the colchester and uh, like if you are able to do the mcd jobs or the subway jobs these are also available like if you go to the high street there are mel- many jobs available like people put the templates over there like this uh, kind of the person required right so you can uh, apply from them as well like offline okay so jobs so, are available uh, <laughs> yeah that's right yeah so so also that but then you have to search and find it that's a thing so uh, uh, so let's come to the full time job one like uh, so since you are uh, in the end of your course and how is your job search going on how is uh, can you tell us about your job search journey like this is the struggle time like if we talk about the full time jobs because everyone came here to enhance their career right everyone have the background but the thing is like if you talk about the full time jobs it's uh, like if i talk about from my experience i applied for some of like four or five or 10 jobs i like got rejection on some of jobs and like if i received a call from uh, like because recruitment agencies give you the call most of the time so pro- through the linkedin i have applied and i like fortunately i got uh, got the two or three uh, agencies call but the thing is once they will discuss the things with you and you once they will ask you your visa status once you will say like uh, i am on a student visa and my uh, like studies is going to finish around jan 23 suppose taking my example uh, to jan 23 so immediately like they switch to like they are not interested kind of the thing like because of the visa status they don't like bother to see what exactly you do what kind of the experience you have what kind of the skills you have they don't bother to uh, go further they just end up the call like we will give you the further call once your course is finished or once your visa status is finished so working rights if you have the working rights in the uk that is the main priority of the employers or you can say recruitment agencies like they consider the person who is having the good right to work or good rights to uh, live in the uk i hope i'm clear yeah yeah exactly because uh, yeah the, there is a priority level for the hrs like you know they look at local people and then they look for uh, you know people on dependent visa or maybe on ilr or something and then in, uh, after if they don't get anyone in that stage then only they come for the students who are here so the, yeah, yeah it's quite tough but yeah it's okay i hope you you will uh, get a good job uh, after your search Uh, so you. do you have any any tips or advice for international students uh, coming to the uk uh like first advice i want to give everyone like do your research why you want to choose only specific uni- uh, university specific course because like if you choose the uh, some course which is doesn't interest you then it will be really difficult for you to complete that course first of all that course and second is like don't uh, think like part time jobs are not available part time jobs are available but you have to be clear what is exactly your motive is to come in the uk not even in, in the uk if you want to move out to the abroad any country so be clear with your motive what exactly your motive is, and just focus on that goal rather than doing the part time jobs and like part time jobs are every time available don't worry about the part time jobs because you are you are coming in the uk or any other country to enhance your career 
right for the long term time don't focus on the part time jobs and all because they are every, they are available on every day so just one suggestion to everyone thank you thank you uh, thank you raj for the suggestion and it was it was it's very very useful on because people they just full time focus on getting the part time jobs and then they just forget about the the effort they have to put for a full time job so right. it's really important for them to know that you know part time jobs are there it just doesn't disappear only it's hard to get a full time job so you had to focus on that so it was nice talking to you raj and uh, you know thank you for all the uh, things that you have been saying here so can i share your linkedin uh, link and sure. your instagram link on the description so that people can you know contact you if they have any doubts about sx university or data science or something like that yes sure yes, i will provide you that in the description okay sure. okay guys i'll just provide the link in the description you can go and check it out and you know contact raj and also he has a youtube channel i'll just link the youtube channel here you can just click and watch it uh, he has uh, some good uh, videos for you for international students coming to the uk definitely it will be a benefit for you so thank you all thank you for watching this we'll see you next video bye